the Manhattan penthouse of Wendy Williams sold for a loss of $822,000. Wendy Williams, the former host of a daytime talk show, has recently struggled financially and personally, which has resulted in the sale of her cherished Manhattan penthouse at a substantial loss. Williams was placed under financial guardianship two years ago after Wells Fargo Bank raised red flags due to her son's extravagant spending. Her guardian reportedly sold her Manhattan penthouse, which was once praised as her ideal home. The NY Post reports that the deal closed on May 10, ushering in a new phase of Williams' ongoing legal and personal conflicts. The sale occurs just a few years after Williams purchased the property in the financial district and follows her 2023 diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia and primary progressive aphasia. According to documents obtained by the Post, Williams, who is currently 59 years old, was declared to be incapacitated, requiring a guardian to be involved in the decision-making process concerning the sale of her home. The three-bedroom, three-bathroom penthouse was sold for $3.75 million, which is $822,000 less than what it cost when it was first bought in July 2021. Wendy Williams has always wanted to live in a dream apartment in Manhattan, but she was never able to fulfill her dream, according to an insider close to the star. The insider expressed regret over the circumstances. It's a really bad circumstance. Williams sold all of her personal items that were kept on the property prior to the sale, including the famous purple chair that was connected to her controversial Hot Topics segment, which held the attention of viewers for years. Williams had to sell her penthouse in addition to dealing with a significant tax debt of more than half a million dollars. Her $4.5 million New York City condo was affected by a federal tax lien as a result of this in 2021.